Welcome to my channel again. Um, what I've got here today is an induction stove. It's a Trino appliance. Uh, it is this uh, Snappy Chef range. I think Snappy Chef is just a, a brand. Um, it is like a plastic bottom with a glass top and inside is induction uh, coil and then there's a, a temperature and a control in the bottom here. But this thing is broken and then I, when I open it, um, this is very interesting. You can see here's the the glass. Here's some thermal paste that comes from there. Uh, apparently, uh, it is a thermocouple or a temperature feedback on the PCB. I think when you overheat maybe the stove and then it will switch off automatically. Uh, but I found the fault. Here's a PCB, the display PCB underneath here. Uh, then yes here's the coils you can see here's the copper coils that causes that being switched by let me just unplug here you see here's that igbt or whatever the fetch that sh switches the the output um this coils and here's your power supply a small power supply that drives the electronics that uh, in turn switch and control this output here it's just a capacitor just to smooth a little bit as a coil uh, here's a fuse then i check the fuse the fuse is all right um in here in the you see here's two two uh, plugs here one is the i think is the thermocouple feedback this is what the thermal paste is here for and the other one is a fuse i noticed that uh, i almost thought is the driver i see there uh, that switches the power switch mode power supply uh, there's no output then i see here's a fuse it stands on the t fuse and then i thought maybe maybe the fuse most electronic appliances for safety they have this fuse uh, inside the, the coil as for safety and then uh, it was open circuit so the, what i did i just go and short out the the points here in the bottom here um and then it works so obviously this is a bad design or a bad fuse that causes this whole thing um so there's not much here here's a programmable chip i think that controls your display and the input for this for the temperature here's a fan that um, blows sucks air and blows it through the heat sink cools off a little bit inside uh, not much inside induction stove. There is the first time I open one of these things. I'll just have to make sure I just put these things back properly to make sure it makes contact. Okay, I'm gonna um, screw all these things back. There's a few screws here that I uh, just want to. There's one screw. Also issue with getting all the stuff back where it's supposed to be. Let's put in that screw. And here's one here. And the old trick when you battle with a screw, you put some um, little bit of plastic on there. Then you put your thing on there. Then you reach all the places that you can't get. That's it. Okay, that piece of is fastened. Here's another bigger screw here that I need to put on. Uh, what about the heat sink? Okay, um, let's just plug. So I'm just going to plug it in. It doesn't lie around, but it doesn't work. Now the the fuse and here is the the core just make sure everything is nice out of the way yeah induction coils yeah let's screw back all these units get a screwdriver yeah 
see that one is the wrong one I'm always get confused with the screws with flat heads or sometimes I always have one or two extra screws lying around and I wonder where is it going okay now this thing is connected now now I'm gonna plug back the display You can measure on the connection this 12 volt ground 5 volt i measured there was nothing so obviously the power supply was dead and i think firstly this thing goes through here i remember looking for the heat go through there and plug it in there get that out of the way Make sure it's underneath nicely. Okay, yes, now this flat rubber, I must just make sure this makes contact here. Yeah? With the uh, Just make sure it's, it's nice, everything makes contact. Let me just screw in one or two of these screws first. Make sure it doesn't move. Okay, here's the entry from the bottom. Three nose, 2000 watt. I thought they've got a little less watt than a stove, but it's much. Okay, let's plug it in. I'm going to move my thing here for the display that you can see. And this is. Okay, let's plug it in. See there, the, the buzzer goes off. Let me switch off the light here. See there you can see it's on. There's on. And the temperature to 80 off. And the timer. I'm just gonna get a piece of uh, a pot with water and then we check it. This is off. Okay, I uh, put on a piece of water in here. You can see the water on the stuff, and I'm going to switch it on. And let's say plus. And you see the fan is running, and I don't know what's going to happen now. Let's see if this thing starts boiling. Let's see if it is hot. Obviously, it's a code here that's stabbed me wrong. Press twice for power function. I don't know what really what to do here. But just first of all, read the manual maybe. Righto, I'm gonna put some thermal paste on here. You see, this is the fuse that's blown. Leave it like this. There's a thermistor. I've got some little paste here. Lead oxide. You just put some new one there. So that can it can go through from the glass. And now I'm gonna just put this whole thing back together. <clears throat> Make sure everything fits nicely. And the 
pakai bawang sikinde atau screw back just pick up all the screws that I lost this one day this one day okay last screw your side Okay, just for interest sake, when you use this thermal uh, induction cooker, the base of your pot must be magnetized. Must be like a stainless steel, no magnet doesn't work. Okay, now we put it on here. Put it like this, and then we're going to put it on. In plus. Here it goes, and we're going to see cooking in a while. You can feel there's yeah, something happening, yeah? Look at the bubbles start forming in the bottom, yeah? Okay, you can see the water is boiling. Look at the steam. Success. Let's switch it off. Let's remove the water. Unplug it. There's a fan. The, the fan is like cooling down the electronics inside first. Put this there. Okay, um, now you see the only thing that's going to happen when there's a problem with your induction co uh, cooker, either the fuse or um, it can be the, the capacitors or the, the rectifier bridge or the IGBT. So there's not nothing more than a small power supply. Um, okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Till next time, cheers.